in the previous lecture we have discussed about the genetic disorders that were the chromosomal based disorders in this lecture we will look at the gene based disorders are disorders that are due to the gene mutation these disorders are also called the mendelian disorder in this lecture we will look at the autosomal dominant disorders in the previous lecture we have discussed that there are a number of different types of genetic disorders that are inherited from parents to offspring these disorders include are uh, these disorders due to the chromosome abnormalities uh, we have classified the chromosomal abnormalities disorder into two main categories one was the numerical based disorders in which the number of chromosome are deviated from their norm normal number and the second was the structural based disorders in which the structure of the chromosome uh, were disturbed and caused different types of disorders we have discussed all these disorders in the previous lecture in this lecture we will uh, discuss about the single uh, gene disorders we will classify the single gene disorder into different categories here we will look at the autosomal dominant disorders multifactorial disorders are the mitochondrial disorder we will discuss in the later lectures single gene disorder single gene inheritance or disorder is also called the mendelian or monogenetic inheritance Changes or mutations that occur in the DNA sequence of a single gene cause single gene disorder. वो change, वो mutation जो DNA के single nucleotide में से single gene में mutation होगी, that type of the mutation is called single gene mutation, and this type of mutation leads towards a disorder. This is called single gene disorder. There are currently about 4,000 disorders caused from single gene defects. सिंगल जीन की बेस पे 4000 डिसऑर्डर अप टिल नाउ हैव बीन आइडेंटिफाइड वी कैन क्लासिफाई सिंगल जीन डिसऑर्डर इनटू डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज सिंगल जीन डिसऑर्डर्स मेनली क्लासिफाई इनटू टू मेन कैटेगरीज ऑटोसोमल लिंक डिसऑर्डर्स एंड सेक्स लिंक डिसऑर्डर्स एज वी आर वेरी मच फेमिलियर दैट देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ क्रोमोसोम ऑटोसोम्स एंड द सेक्स क्रोमोसोम द डिसऑर्डर्स दैट आर लिंक्ड विद द ऑटोसोम दैट आर कॉल्ड द ऑटोसोमल लिंक डिसऑर्डर्स एंड द डिसऑर्डर दैट आर लिंक्ड विद द सेक्स क्रोमोसोम दैट आर कॉल्ड द सेक्स लिंक डिसऑर्डर्स ऑटोसोमल लिंक डिसऑर्डर्स फर्दर क्लासिफाई इनटू two main categories autosomal dominant disorders and autosomal recessive disorders sex linked disorders can further again divide into two main categories x linked disorders and y linked disorders x linked disorders may be the x linked dominant disorder and x linked recessive disorder in the further slides we will uh, look at the example of each type of disorders autosomal dominant autosomal recessive uh, recessive disorders x linked disorder x linked uh, dominant disorder x linked recessive disorder and the y linked disorders in ki example hum further time discuss karenge and the detail of the autosomal dominant disorder will be discussed in this lecture and the detail of the other disorder will be discussed in the further lectures autosomal dominant disorders autosomal dominant disorders are the disorders in which only one copy of a defective gene from either parent is necessary to cause the condition it means ke heterozygous condition may be disease cause ho sakti hai heterozygous condition mein bhi disorder ho sakta hai there are 50% chances of inheritance of the autosomal dominant disorder for example hunting tons disease hunting ton disease nonan syndrome morphan syndrome neurofibromatosis polycystic kidney hereditary spherocytosis von willebrand disease familial hypercholesterolemia these are the examples of autosomal dominant disorders autosomal recessive di disorders or autosomal recessive inheritance disorders are the disorders in which two copies of a defective gene one from each parent are necessary to cause the condition दोनों पेरेंट में से जो रिसेसिव जीन है उसका ट्रांसफर होना जरूरी है बिकॉज ऑटोसोमल रिसेसिव डिसऑर्डर हमेशा है होमोजाइगस कंडीशन में एक्सप्रेस होगा दोनों जीन्स होमोजाइगस कंडीशन में मौजूद होंगे सो दिस ऑर्डर विल दिस डिसऑर्डर विल इनहेरिट और दिस डिसऑर्डर विल अकर क्योंकि ये रिसेसिव फॉर्म में मौजूद है तो जब रिसेसिव फॉर्म में मौजूद है दोनों जीन का एक ही होमोजाइगस कंडीशन में होना जरूरी है सो इट इज द ऑटोसोमल रिसेसिव डिसऑर्डर एंड द चांसेस ऑफ द इनहेरिटेंस आर 25% 
uh, that is the autosomal recessive inheritance or autosomal recessive disorders. Examples of autosomal recessive disorders are cystic fibrosis, sickle cell anemia, thalassemia, phenylketonuria, albinism, alkeptonuria, test sex disease, xeroderma pigmentosa, galactosemia, glycogen storage disease, Wilson disease, hemochromatosis, and Gaucher's disease. These diseases uh, will be discussed in the next lecture in very much detail. The most important uh, amongst these are the cystic fibrosis, sickle cell anemia, thalassemia, phenylketonuria, albinism, and alkaptonuria. These are very much important, uh, but we will discuss all the uh, disorders in detail in next lecture. X-linked disorders are the disorders that are uh, mainly uh, present or the defective genes are found on the X chromosome. X-linked disorder may be the X-linked dominant or X-linked recessive. X-linked dominant disorders are the disorders uh, which uh, express itself in, the, uh, in heterozygous conditions. Retinitis pigmentosa, Rett syndrome, Alpert syndrome, Fragile X syndrome, coffin lori syndrome, vitamin D resistance records. These are the examples of the X-linked dominant disorders. X-linked recessive disorders. Uh, mainly, uh, these are uh, found or uh, occur in the male usually. Hemophilia, color blindness, skid, severe combined immunodeficiency, Hunter's disease, muscular dystrophy, uh, G6PD, nephrogenic diabetes, and cipidus. Violent inheritance disorders. Violent traits are also called the holentric, uh, holentric traits. The genes located on the Y chromosome whose alleles are absent on the X chromosome are Y-linked genes. These are also called hemizygous uh, genes because in the alternate allele is uh, Y X chromosome is not there. Because male only uh, as male are the heterogametic, so there will be X or Y. So the Y chromosome pe jo genes are only Y. It will not be alternate uh, gene X is not there. That's why these genes are called the hemizygous gene. Their phenotypic expression is observed only in the male. They are inherited because they are inherited from father to son, as son only receive Y chromosome for father, uh, from father. Father say Y chromosome son receive karta hai. That's why these uh, phenotype expressions are mainly observed in the male. For example, hypertrichosis, that's the growth of hair on the rim of pinna. Parcopine vein, straight hair on the body, and webbing toys. These are the examples of the wild linked inheritance, and these will be discussed in detail. Now, start with the autosomal dominant disorders. The first example we have discussed about the autosomal dominant disorder was the Huntington's disease. Huntington disease that is the view today as the HD causes the degeneration of the nerve cells in the brain and central nervous system. It is the disease of the nervous system. This hereditary condition is autosomal dominant disorder, meaning that the heterozygous condition will develop the disease. If the heterozygous condition may alleles majude, uh, so this disease may occur because autosomal dominant disorder. Hai. This disease HD is caused by mutation of gene on chromosome number 4. Mechanism of the Huntington disease normally uh, the gene that is the uh, for the Huntington protein. Huntington protein that is the normal protein this gene for this uh, protein is present on the chromosome 4. When it trans transcribe it produce the messenger RNA. This messenger RNA produce karega. Ye after transcription, ye messenger RNA produce karega. Is messenger RNA ke pass jo codon hai jo amino acid ke liye jo message hai that was for the glutamine. That was for the glutamine. Agar normal uh, jo hunting tin protein hai, normal hunting tin protein mein there are uh, the number of the glutamine residues are less than 36. Agar 36 se jo number of the amino acid uh, Glutamine hai, wo hunting tin protein mein 36 se kam hai, it means it is a normal protein. If the residue of this glutamine or this uh, amino acid glutamine is increased uh, from the 36, agar ki tada, 36 se zyada ho jayegi, then the protein will be abnormal. 
एबनॉर्मल हंटिंग टेन विद मोर देन थर्टी सिक्स ग्लोटामीन रेजिड्यू अगर ग्लूटामीन अमाइनो एसिड की अमाउंट अगर ज्यादा है 36 सिक्स है देन द डिज कंडीशन विल लीड्स टू वर्ड्स द हंटिंग टेन डिजीज अगर 36 से कम है तो नॉर्मल हंटिंग टेन प्रोटीन है अगर 36 से ज्यादा है तो अब नॉर्मल प्रोटीन है देन द कंडीशन इज कॉल्ड हंटिंग हंटिंग टन डिजीज हंटिंग टन डिजीज हंटिंग टन typically shows itself when the individual is between 30 and 40 years old however rare form begin in children children may be is ki rare form occur ho sakti hai symptoms of hd include the uncontrolled movement that is a chorea difficulty swallowing behavioral changes difficulty balancing and walking memory speech and cognitive loss as the disease mainly affect the nervous system degeneration of the nerves so all the symptoms that uh, produce due to this disease are the nervous system related uh, disorders are the symptoms all the function of the body will disturb that are controlled by the brain so all the system are controlled by the brain so the whole system will disturb treatment aims to limit the course of the disease life expectancy is normally 20 years from the onset of symptoms with secondary conditions like heart failure or the pneumonia most often the cause of death mainly we use the supportive therapy for the hd disease normal brain have section having the normal frontal horns of the lateral ventricles the normal ventral horns and the hunting tins disease uh, the enlargement of the frontal uh, horns of the lateral ventricles lateral ventricles ke jo uh, frontal horns hain these are the enlarged due to the hunting tins disease uh, due to the hunting tin abnormal protein second disorder that is due to the autosomal dominant inheritance is the nonan syndrome nonan syndrome is fairly common autosomal dominant congenital disorder that occurs when one of four genes are affected jab char mein se koi ek gene bhi affect hoga then uh, the disorder will be the nonan syndrome nonan syndrome actually uh, there are four genes agar four gene mein se koi ek gene bhi abnormal hai uh, they are control the normal uh, functions uh, that the condition will be uh, leads towards the nonon syndrome nonon affects both boys and girls equally of inflicting approximately 1 in 1000 and 1 in 2500 children worldwide the condition can be passed on from both parents but may develop randomly short after birth dono parents ki taraf se condition pass ho sakti hai or it uh, develop shortly after the birth symptoms of the nonon syndrome the characteristics of, of the facial appearance short stature heart defects present at birth that are congenital heart defects a broad or web neck minor eye problems such as the strabismus in up uh, to 95% of individual bleeding problems such as the history of the abnormal bleeding or bruising an unusual chest shape with widely spaced and low set nipples developmental delay of varying degree but usually mild there are uh, different types of symptoms uh, it affect uh, different areas kat ko bhi affect kar sakta hai mean height ko bhi affect kar sakta hai facial appearance ko bhi affect kar sakta hai heart ko bhi affect kar sakta hai and uh, body uh, jo uh, neck hai usko bhi affect kar sakta hai and eye problem bhi ho sakte hain isse breathing problem bhi ho sakte hain unusual chest shape also uh, observed and developmental delays of varying degrees uh, but these are the uh, usually mild there are different types of symptoms due to the nonan syndrome marfan syndrome marfan syndrome is a genetic disorder that affects the connective tissues marfan syndrome mein connective tissue affect hote hain ab connective tissue ke sari body mein maujood hote hain so it affect all parts of the body bones hain blood hai uh, and muscles hain ye sare jo tissues hain wo sare affect honge marfan syndrome is caused by mutation in fbn1 gene that is present in the chromosome 15 that is responsible for the protein that is called the fibrillin protein this gene makes the protein that is called the fibrillin protein this fibrillin protein uh, will uh, responsible for the um, 
connective tissues when it is abnormal or it will affect then it results in the abnormal connective tissue connective tissue kya honge disturb honge it is an autosomal dominant disorder about 75% of the time the condition is inherited from the parent with the condition while 25% of the time it is a new mutation 75% it is a congenital uh, means it transfer from the parents inherited from the parents while 25% it may be due to the mutation in the FB1 gene and the condition leads towards the Marfan syndrome 25% condition may new mutation ki wajah se Marfan syndrome ho sakta hai the incidence of Marfan syndrome is approximately 1 in 500 worldwide more than 30 different signs and symptoms are variably associated with the Marfan syndrome. The most prominent of these affects the skeleton, cardiovascular, and ocular system, but all fibrous connective tissues throughout the body can affect it. Jitne bhi body mein connective tissues hain, wo sare affect honge. Lekin most prominently, skeletal, cardiovascular, and ocular system will disturb. Features of the Marfan syndromes like the tall and slender build, uh, disproportionality, long arms, legs, and fingers, a breastbone that protrude outward or dips inward, a high arched palate and the crowded teeth, heart murmurs, extreme nearsightedness, and abnormally curved spine and fleet, uh, flat feet. These are different uh, features or symptoms of the Marfan syndrome. Marfan M A R F A N S Marfans we can uh, abbreviate the Marfan or we can uh, memorize the symptoms or the features of the Marfan syndrome by using uh, its abbreviation Marfan M that is a mitral valve prolapse mitral valve prolapse so jayenge. aortic dissection aortic dissection means aortic will dissect and it will uh, supply the blood or the, it will form different types of vessels in the aorta Retinal detachment, flat feet, facial features, flexible joints. A, uh, that is a for the arachnoid dactyl. Arachnoid dactyl, that is the spider fingers, is a condition in which the fingers and toys are abnormally long and slender. Fingers or toys abnormally uh, long. Honge. Nearsightedness and scoliosis. Scoliosis, that is the medical condition in which a person's spine has a wide uh, sideways curve. Spine may sideways curve. Okay. If, um, a person affected from the Marfan syndrome having the long fingers and the heart problems that is a thoracic aortic aneurysm uh, and the weakened wall of aorta due to the um, aortic dissection and fatty deposits lining uh, aneurysm. These are different uh, complications of the Marfan syndrome. Neurofibromatosis. Neurofibromatosis is also an autosomal dominant disorder. Neurofibromatosis is a genetic disorder of nervous system. It also affects the nervous system like the Huntington's disease. It mainly affects how nerve cells form and grow. It causes tumors to grow on nerves. Nerves pe tumor produce hoga. There are uh, three types of the fibro, uh, neurofibromatosis, type 1 nephro, uh, neurofibromatosis, that is NF1, causes skin changes and deformed bones. It usually starts in childhood. Sometimes the symptoms are present at birth. NF1, neurofibromatosis 1, is caused by a mutation on NF1 gene on the arms of chromosome 17. Type 2, NF2, that is neurofibromatosis 2, causes uh, hearing loss ringing in the ears and poor balance symptoms often starts in the teen years nf2 is caused by a mutation on the nf2 tumor suppressor gene on chromosome 22 uh, schwannomatosis uh, schwannomatosis causes intense pain it is a rarest type of uh, that is uh, the neurofibromatosis schwannomatosis uh, schwannomatosis is caused by various mutation on chromosome 22 Polycystic kidney. Polycystic kidney disease is a disorder that affects the kidneys and other organs. Clusters of fluid-filled sacs called the cyst. 
as cyst means the cyst form uh, develop in the kidney and interfere with the ability to filter waste products from the blood as the kidney are the important part of the excretory system uh, for, uh, in the formation of the urine when it when the kidney will disturb then it will uh, affect uh, interfere with the excretion of the waste products from the blood the growth of cyst causes the kidneys to become enlarged kidney mein growth uh, cyst ki growth hogi cyst ki growth ki wajah se kidney ka size enlarged hoga and it can lead to kidney failure cyst may also develop in other organs particularly the liver cyst liver mein bhi produce ho sakta hai two kidneys are showing one is the normal and second is the abnormal normal kidney uh, having all the structures are uh, prominent while the abnormal kidney uh, having disturbed and different types of cysts are produced uh, on different location of the kidney it affect the excretory mechanism or excretory function of the kidney most cases of polycystic kidney disease have an autosomal dominant patterns of inheritance genetic mutations in any of the three genes pkd1 pkd2 and pkd3 have similar phenotypic presentations polycystic kidney disease symptoms as uh, kidney control the excretion of the waste material from the blood so uh, if the blood or the excretion is not normal from the body then it will affect all the physiological functions of the body or it affect it disturb the homeostasis of the body so it disturb different functions of the body main features of this disease symptoms are the high blood pressure back or side pain headache a feeling of fullness in the abdomen increase size of abdomen due to enlarged kidney blood in urine kidney stones kidney failure urinary tract or kidney infections autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease that is the autosomal recessive polykidney disease is also observed uh, this type of uh, disease is far less common than the autosomal dominant uh, polycystic kidney disease autosomal recessive polycystic disease bhi ho sakti hai lekin autosomal dominant polycystic disease se kam hai bahut kam hai hereditary spherocytosis hereditary spherocytosis is an abnormality of the red blood cells erythrocytes the disorder is caused by mutation in gene that are relating to the membrane proteins that allow for erythrocyte to change shape jab un protein mein mutation hogi jo normally erythrocyte ki shape ko control karte hain jab shape wale ya wo genes wo protein jo erythrocyte ki shape ko control karta hai usme abnormality aayegi mutation aayegi then the shape of the erythrocyte will deviate disturb and the shape is like the sphere shape or uh, the disease is called the spherocytosis the abnormal erythrocytes are sphere shaped wo are diseases jo abnormal hain jin ki shape change ho gayi hai now they are the like the sphere shape these are that's why due to the spherocytosis rather than the normal that having the biconcave disc shape jo normal are diseases hain normal erythrocytes hain unki jo shape hai wo biconcave disc shape hai jab unki shape change ho jayegi abnormal ho jayegi then the shape will become the sphere shape hereditary spherocytosis can be an autosomal recessive or autosomal dominant trait ya autosomal recessive ho sakta hai autosomal dominant ho sakta hai lekin autosomal dominant uh, most prominent hai normal red blood cells having the disc shape biconcave structure biconcave and the spherocyte shape uh, so ibcs are the sphere shape sphere shape spherical hai jo नॉर्मल आरबीसीज हैं उनकी जो प्रोटीन हैं साइटोस्केलेटन साइड प्रोटीन दीज प्रोटीन आर द नॉर्मल वो प्रोटीन जो आरबीसीज को शेप प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं दीज प्रोटीन आर नॉर्मल और आरबीसीज भी नॉर्मल हैं अगर आरबी जो प्रोटीन जो स्ट्रक्चर को सो जो उसकी शेप को मेंटेन किए हुए हैं जब वो प्रोटीन अब नॉर्मल होंगी जब प्रोटीन अब नॉर्मल हैं तो शेप भी अब नॉर्मल होगी तो शेप इज लाइक द स्फीयर सो द डिजीज कार्ड स्फीरोसाइटोसिस due to abnormal proteins of the surface are the protein that um, control the structure of the shape of the rbcs 
Hereditary spherocytosis is caused by a variety of molecular defects in the genes that code for the red blood cell proteins, spectrin, alpha and beta, n band, 3 protein, and other red blood cell membrane proteins. These are the proteins that control the uh, normal RBCs and in the mutation of these proteins, the condition leads towards the spherocytosis. People with this condition typically experience a shortage of red blood cells, anemia, yellowing of the eye and eyes and skin, jaundice, and an enlarged spleen splenomegaly. So RBC jab disturb honge, RBC's ki construction kam hogi, the condition will become the anemia. And yellowing of the eye and skin will uh, occur, jaundice will produce an enlarged spleen, that is splenomegaly. Splenomegaly can occur anytime uh, from early childhood to adult. Kisi vak bhi splenomegaly ho sakti hai. About half of affected individuals develop heart deposits in the gallbladder called the gallstones. Gallstones is the most important character of this spherocytosis, which typically occur from the late childhood to mid-adulthood. Uh, mid Vitamin B, folic acid, surgery and transfusion are the therapeutic strategies for uh, this spherocytosis. Von Willebrand disease. Von Willebrand disease is the most common hereditary blood clotting disorders in human. It cannot be confused with the hemophilia. Hemophilia is the X-linked recessive disorder, while a Von Willebrand disease is the autosomal dominant disorder. And the severity of the bleeding is more in the Von Willebrand disease as compared to the hemophilia. The von Willebrand factor, VWF factor gene, is located on the short arm, that is the P arm of the chromosome 12. Uh, the address of this gene is 12P13.2. Type 1 and type 2 are inherited as autosomal dominant traits. Occasionally, type 2 also inherit recessively. Occasionally, okay, kabhi kabhar jo are type 2 hai, is ki, uh, three main types, and type 1, type 2, and type 3. Type 1 and type 2 mainly autosomal dominant traits se inherit hoti hai, jabke occasionally bhaazuka type 2 inherit recessively. Type 3 is inherited uh, as autosomal recessive. Symptoms of the uh, this disease, uh, w, uh, VW. Excessive bleeding from an injury or after surgery or dental work, bleeding disorder, hai. nose bleeds that don't stop within 10 minutes, heavy or long bleeding during reproductive cycle, blood in your urine or stool, so bleeding is uh, not controlled, easy bruising or lumpy bleeds, familial hypercholesterolemia. Familial hypercholesterolemia is autosomal dominant disorder. is a gen disorder. It is caused by defect on chromosome number 19. The defect makes the body unable to remove low density lipoprotein. LDL, these are the low density lipoprotein and these are the bad uh, lipids. These are the cholesterol uh, that are not, cannot be removed from the body. These low density lipoprotein accumulate uh, in the uh, veins and cause different types of uh, cardiovascular problems. This results in the high level of LDL in the blood, low density lipoprotein key concentration blood mein zyada hogi. This makes uh, the patient more likely to have narrowing of arteries from atherosclerosis. The, after the deposition of the uh, low density uh, lipoprotein plague build up hoga. Uh, uh, the constricted uh, blood flow because the uh, arteries now become the narrow arteries narrow due to the deposition of these uh, cholesterol these lipids the most common general defect in the FHR LDLR mutation APOB mutation PCSK9 mutation and LDLR AP1 mutation the related disease that is the cetosterolemia, cetosterolemia which has many similarities with the FH and also features uh, that are the cholesterol accumulation in the tissues uh, that is due to the ABCG5 and ABCG8 mutation. Cetosterolemia is a type of disease, but its genes are different than FH. Se. Familial uh, hypercholesterolemia can also cause health problems related to the buildup of excess cholesterol in the tissue rather than uh, other than the heart and the blood vessels. 
if the cholesterol accumulate uh, in the tissue that attach muscle to bones that are called the tendons what is your uh, muscles ko bones attach karte hain that are called the tendons it causes characteristic growth called the tendon xanthomas yellowish cholesterol deposits under the skin of the eyelids and are known as the xanth lesmata usko agar i have eyelids of the uh, skin of the eyelids mein maujood hai cholesterol deposits the condition is called the xanth lesmata cholesterol can also accumulate uh, at the edges of the clear front surface of eye the cornea leading to gray color ring called an arcus cornealis arcus uh, arcus cornealis cornea mein ho to arcus cornealis ki condition hogi these are the leopard deposits uh, in the tendons in the hands and in the cornea that is called the cornealis uh, these are uh, cornealis okay that's all about the autosomal dominant disorders we have classified autosomal dominant disorder into different categories the most important are the uh, familial hypercholesterolemia huntington disease uh, polycystic kidney disorders uh, in the next lecture we will discuss about the autosomal recessive disorders thank you so much